All right, so did we actually finish this location up? That's what I'd like to know. Is it marked off? It is. Okay, so let's go ahead and head down to Minch's Bar, which uh, I doubt we have an address for. Or maybe we do. Okay. Usually we have to call R&I for that. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, let's go. Rusty, come on. Let's get moving along here. We got an investigation. Hurry up, bud. I'll try I'll even turn on the sirens for you. Since you complain about that all the time. Alright, I don't know if we can get out over here. But I'm going this way anyways. It reads that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies What's can't fight without talk? food. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still... Just go easy, Phelps. Hey, there was no other way to go, bud. Help me! <laughs> Armies can't fight without food. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Apparently, I discovered a landmark. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, it's not another cop in distress. It's actually someone that I can arrest. I can beat up. Be an abusive cop. Oh. Shit. Well, the pop-ins aren't too bad. Breathe, they weren't as bad breathe, as that one recording it. session, but... They're not gone. They're definitely, definitely here. Good lord. She is way, way far off from the bar. There's no way she was drinking at this bar and made it all the way over there. Unless she took a taxi, and then, in which case, I don't know what the hell the taxi driver was thinking, dropping her off at a railway. Hey! In which case, it's probably the taxi's fault, the taxi driver's fault, for letting her go. Should have dropped her off at her house. That's what he should have done. I almost missed my uh, stop here. And it does seem like we need to pick up the phone and call about something. Here's the phone right here. I'll go ahead and do that before we head in to the bar. Okay, that's not what I want. I want it. Yeah, there. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest door to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thank you. All right, so if she was, if she got her liquor from a store, why are we even bothering going to this bar over here? Just because she was a regular doesn't mean anything. I mean, she obviously wasn't there last night. Guess it's just routine. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. You. You look like a chipper. What's your name? Chipper young Over man. McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers. 
and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. So, 38. Wow, okay. So if this guy was trying to hook up with her, that's, that's a little weird. Because that's like a 14-year age difference. Did you see Evelyn last night? No. I was at home. Writing. Writing, huh? See, I doubt that. I honestly, honestly doubt that. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Do you want to go bowling, Rusty? Do you have Let's a go bowling. Record, Mr. McCaffrey. Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. A few skirmishes, huh? Heh. <laughs> You're not telling me something. Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Strikes. Workers' rights. That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. What kind of workers' Thank rights you are you worried about? You're a fucking McCaffrey. writer. Unless you write for the newspaper, then uh, you really have nothing to complain about. So, get off your high horse. Stop wearing that stupid-looking... Is, is that a scarf, or is that just a shirt? Well, stop wearing that stupid-looking vest. And reading stupid books in a bar. You're not sophisticated in the least bit. Let's go, Rusty. Alright, so we got the bowling alley. Uh, we still have... Okay, there's... I can probably talk to the other guy, actually, in here. I didn't even think about that. I figured that guy gave us plenty of evidence that uh, we didn't really need to bother with anybody else. Help me out. I say we try the liquor store next. I could get a short I'm trying to talk to car. this guy. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Wow, what an asshole. Most people in bars are assholes. They're in there for a reason. They've had a really shitty day or week or life. But uh, that should be it for the bar. Nope, the bar's still there. What the fuck? Why is the bar still here? Is there seriously another person in here? Alright, one more last check. Because it's not crossed off the list, so I'm kind of concerned about that. Maybe, uh... Is there more back here? Maybe there's someone outside? Wouldn't it be the first time we met our, uh... Our actual suspect outside who ended up being the guy? Nobody's in the bathroom. Can I talk with the bar guy again? The regulars might have something else to tell you, but I don't. But I don't. Alright, well, I don't really know then. Let's go. I got plenty of evidence here. I, I mean, there might be something else I can get at the bar, but I think I have what I need. So, let's go... I feel like the uh, liquor store would be all the way back at the train depot, so let's see if we can get to the bowling alley first. Might be closer. Might be along the way. Let's hope so, anyways. What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. <laughs> I meant as a suspect, Rusty. Yeah, I actually agree with Rusty on this one. He doesn't really like the guy. I don't really like the guy. He's kind of a stuck-up snob. Thinks he's better than everybody else. Because he's a writer. Oh. He's so fancy. He's a fucking writer. Yeah, Alan Wake was a writer, too. And he was kind of a snob. Most writers are, are either super depressed all the time or just total snobs.
very rare you might find a genuine, kind-hearted writer. Hello, Ew. Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? 13. Uh, this is business, Florence. You got a guy who works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. I hope you have plenty of size shoes, or size He's 8 a shoes. nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Because there's apparently a lot of them in this. Is that him? Is he running? Oh, you motherfucker. How did he know? That dude totally booked it. I can't even run. Tiernan! LAPD! <laughs> he actually looks like he belongs at a railway with his get up. Oh, come on! I don't even have a car back here. This isn't fair. Well, there! Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just take this car. Of course, it's unlocked and the keys are in the car. What are you waiting for? Get after about it! That. We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. What does that mean? Are you calling Rusty These fat? These are flashy cars to be parked outside a oh, bowling alley. Oh, that's funny. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Uh, or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel good. Good lord, Rusty. Kill him. Kill him. Keep Don't it out his tires. Kill him. Bust his tires. All right, I think you got it. Another yeah, one. you got one of them. Well, at least we've got a suspect. He's going down. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem... In it, in it, in it, in it. Get out of the car. Put your hands in the air. Like you just don't care. Uh, uh. Guess we're heading down to Central. Oh, no, maybe not. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Apparently, we have ghosts working the shifts today. That was really fucked up. Really fucked up and weird. But I guess we need to probably go down to Central now and question him. Let's see. Locations. No, it doesn't have it on there. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and head over to the liquor store first then. We will have to question him at some point. There's no point in arresting him and then just not doing anything with him. Unless we want to go ahead and charge him now for running. Do, 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 do. I'm not really sure what you would uh, charge him with. Because he wasn't under arrest. He just booked it. We just wanted to question him and he took off. So how would you charge him exactly? Because he's not resisting arrest. I don't know what you would charge him with, honestly. I have no idea. I've never been a cop, so... Couldn't tell you. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. It's all your fault, though, because you're Watch a woman you driver. Drive Cops will totally believe me. Mostly because I am one. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. If you were a good friend, then you would know better than to supply her with all this alcohol. What's your problem, man? You didn't care about her. Cola King. I want me some cola. Rusty, get me a cola. I'm going to go back here and talk with this guy. Give me a cola while I'm back here. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Shut up. Don't listen to him. He's my idiot He's partner. Joking, Mr. Robbins. Oh, what the hell? She was sleeping here. Ew. What do we got? She wasn't always such a loner. Which one is she? Okay, 
What do we got here? Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Aristotle? Yeah, right. She wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. So you let her stay in an alcohol in a a store that sells alcohol for a living. That doesn't really seem uh and she seem was like a very good idea. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. I don't think there's any more to that. Unless we want to read it. You want to read Aristotle? I probably couldn't understand anything in that book. 